Hi, this is Alison from Lorelei Jane and I just want to show you the squared pouch. I love this pouch. It fits so much in. Um, it's very useful, it comes in three sizes and it has two zip techniques. Today I'm going to show you how to do paper piecing to uh, make a scrappy squared pouch and it's super easy. I've cut out a um, pattern piece that's a little bit bigger um, I've just I've just cut a little bit bigger than my pattern piece and I've cut out the lining pieces I've also got two fusible fleece pieces I've got my scraps which I'm going to audition and um, make sure that each scrap piece which my um, scrap pieces are however long but they're two inches wide um, and we're also going to stitch on the back so then we can cut it out close uh, on the pattern piece um, lines themselves so the pattern piece will be perfect. So we're sewing on the wrong side of the piece of paper and we're placing the fabric piece wrong side the first fabric piece wrong side down. I'm just trimming so that it's not too long and easy to deal with. And then I'm going to put the next piece of fabric right side together with the first piece of fabric. So they're lying on top of each other. And then I'm going to stitch down a quarter inch from the edge. And we just wanna make sure that the fabric's over the lines on the other side and that it's all sitting nicely so that when I open it up and press it, it will all be really easy. I've chosen fabrics that are bright and I've sort of gone with an orange and yellowy theme um, and then with a pop of green. But you can see they're bright but not too overpowering. Um, I've also tilted the fabric a little bit. Um, just to give it some difference and I really think it looks good. I have a little um, iron or presser um, that I use to heat press that I use to um, just iron at my desk which is really handy. And here I am just adding the next fabric. Again I'm just placing it right sides together. Um, and I'm going to stitch down a quarter inch. I'm just ironing as I go because that's what scrappy sewing is all about. Now I'm just speeding this up to show you how I've so started sewing these pieces all together and how easy it is just to get it all done. So and um, choose fabrics and just make sure that the fabrics you're choosing are long enough. Um, that is the main thing because you don't want to um, cut off any um, parts of the pouch or, or um, yeah, you just need them to be long enough. And I like two inch strips just because it's faster to sew a whole piece. And I think they turn out really cute. I'll just quickly show you the other side of the paper piece. It's got stitches through it and... Um, once it's all done, I'm going to cut that, but I'm still going to, I'll just speed it up where I'm just going through all the fabric piecing. So now I've done all the fabric piecing for this piece. I'm going to turn it over and I'm just going to cut the actual fabric piece for the pouch out. And there it is. Now there's a few things to note with the way I piece this. Um, there's actually one little corner piece that is like right on the stitching. So I do go and reinforce that after I've um, put on the fusible fleece. Here I'm just gonna cut, um, or sorry, rip all the paper out. Um, so then I can install the fusible fleece. I also always keep a little basket on my sewing desk to put in all paper or little scraps of fabric and I go through it and recycle if I can. And so that's that little corner there that I was talking about. I'm just going to go back and reinforce it 
trim all the threads because sometimes threads get caught. That's no big deal. Now I'm just going to go ahead and quilt it. I've attached all the fusible fleece to the back. I've also trimmed my fusible fleece down a little bit, especially in those corner bits, just to make it easier to um, square up when I'm putting the pouch together. But you don't have to do that. That's just personal preference. And it looks really good quilted. I'm, I think this is so cute. I can't wait to make the rest of the pouch.